Hey, I'm going to do a quick video today on microphone frequency response charts. Uh, a lot of times I get questions from people asking about well, what type of mic they should buy, uh, usually in referencing vocals, types of vocal mics. But um, occasionally I'll get a question about, well, what should I buy to, for my acoustic guitar or my, my kick drum or something to that effect. So looking at this microphone frequency response chart, we see this red line here that's generated by the company that makes the microphone. I believe this is made by Shure. I'm not sure which microphone, but basically what they do is they put a microphone into an anechoic chamber and they throw uh, pink noise or white noise at it. And it they record the results of that test and generate this chart here which basically tells us how a particular microphone will respond at different frequencies so if we look along the x-axis here we're looking at we see these numbers here and on the low on the left side we're looking at 20 and all the way at the top we're looking at 20,000 or 20k and those numbers represent frequencies measured in Hertz. Along the y-axis you see relative response in decibels and that basically represents volume. So zero and where the line is closest to zero is where we're, we're seeing no boost or cut or no coloring uh, or what we refer to as flat um, and anything below that is going to be attenuation or less volume and above would be boost or exaggeration. Now what that last chart doesn't show us is um, something we call proximity effect and that basically is what it sounds like. The uh, amount of distance between let's say the instrument or let's use the singer as an example and the actual diaphragm or, or capsule of the microphone. So if we look at the solid red line here we, we see a similar kind of a roll-off taking place starting like 700 Hertz and then kind of steadily dips all the way down to about minus 20 dB by the time it hits 50 Hertz. However, at two inches, we see almost the ex exact opposite. We see a rise from the same point, about 700 Hertz, and peaking at about five decibel boost at about 200 Hertz. And then it begins to slowly roll off, but then rolling off closer to being zero and only going as low as maybe two or minus two dB, three dB at 50 Hertz. And it gets even more exaggerated when you're about an eighth of an inch away from the diaphragm. The extreme boosting at the low frequency is a, a, a lot more a prominent. Uh, on the top side, it just seems to be relatively the same for all distances. Okay, well that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any more questions, leave a comment below.